everybody, it is Kalax in here, and if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that you guys should become patrons over on Patreon if you guys want to help support the channel and all the Patreon credits and explaining all the tiers will be at the end of this video. So, we're going to talk about RTX today, so this, a couple things. So first of all, I got a new camera, and I can see like the pores on my skin, and I'm not sure if that's good or not. But anyway, we have a new camera, so if you guys notice, we're in better, better, better quality, better, um better spirits maybe we can um attribute that to the new camera um but yeah i want to talk about rtx i want to talk about sort of my experience going obviously you guys saw my vlogs but i kind of want to give some feedback some review some stuff like that um maybe if you guys are wondering should i go like stuff like that so this is basically why you should go to rtx kind of so this was my first time this year i had a weekend badge all that fun fun stuff I came in on Wednesday, I left yesterday on Monday, all of you guys saw that, so I want to talk about sort of the event itself, because really what made RTX for me was hanging out with friends, but uh, there's also, like, I want to keep it contained to, like, the event itself, if that makes sense. So first of all, we were all worried about security, we were all worried about standing out in the hot sun and the lines and all that, none of that, none of that happened, <laughs> at least to me. Um, I did pass by when sometimes there was a line, but the thing is, is that the convention center, the entrances have these sort of roof things where there's a lot of shade, um, so no one was standing in the hot sun, the lines were not super long. Again, I went a little later in the day, so I don't know about the morning, but personally for me, just my experience, I was able to walk basically right through security and not wait, and if I did wait, it was like a minute or two, because there were like three people in front of me. It was not a big deal at all. At different times in the day, there were sort of lines, uh, but I imagine that they did move uh, rather quickly, and there were four entrances, so, and exits, and, or, well, exits, you could exit from anywhere, but for security entrances, you could only go through certain places. So in terms of security, everything was fine. Uh, the water bottle thing, personally, for me, was fine. Um, there were a lot of places to refill throughout the convention. There were um, water bottle jugs. There were, I think, these things that you fill up near the bathroom, like, um, I don't know how to explain them. You see them in school sometimes. They're like a little, you put the nozzle, and you're, it's a nozzle thingy, and then you put your water bottle under it, and you turn it on, and you're good. Um, so that wasn't a big deal. Food, I brought chocolate bars, I bought fiber bars, I didn't eat any of them. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, yeah, that's the other thing I kind of want to talk about. Like, I think next year I want to do an RTX guide. Like, if this is your first time, here's what you should know. I didn't really eat any of the food that we packed, if you guys saw my prep video. So, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, security. Everything was smooth. Uh, lining up for panels, everything was, was pretty smooth as well. There was a designated, here are the Platinums, here are the rest of you, uh, sort of lines. I got into everything that basically I could get in, that I wanted to get in, like I didn't arrive to the Ruby panel and they were like, sorry, the lines get, you know what I mean? Um, the seats were good, even if you weren't a Platinum, uh, in my opinion, at least I got, uh, some pretty good seats. If you were super late to the panel, uh, you were, you know, at the back, but that's your fault if you were late, so. Uh, panel, getting into the panels, that was all good. Uh, everything in terms of, like, the exhibitors were really cool, like, there was a lot of cool stuff, like, I showed you guys in the vlog, uh, there was, like, a quilt, like, a giant ruby quilt, and there were, like, um, some booths that were selling, like, stuff from other anime, uh, there was, of course, Ruby Amity Arena, there was the Rock Band booth, there were lots of indie games and indie developers, all of that sort of stuff, so, uh, in terms of exhibitors, like, I'll give you guys, again, <laughs> A plus on that, so A plus on security, A plus on the exhibitors, A plus, uh, on the panel lines, uh, so all of that was good. This was probably, uh, judging by the conversations that my friends were having, this is, like, the smoothest, system that they've ever had in place. So it's it's really, really good um, from what I understand. Like, it's not just like, oh, Cal, it's your first time. You don't know how it's been last year. Like, even my friends that have been before, they think that it was really good. Um, so now I'm going to talk about some gripes that I have. So there weren't a lot of food things inside the convention center, and I sort of get that. But like, if we're not allowed to bring outside food, it would have been nice, because there was pizza, there was a pretzel stand, and I think there were nachos, and that's about it. Like, there's lots of places to go outside, and, like, I went out to eat a lot, so we went to P.F. Chang's a lot, um, like, there were, uh, a couple other places that we went, that's the one that's, like, jammed in my skull, because we went there so much, um, but 
in terms of, like, you know, getting something to eat inside if you don't want to leave the convention center, you know, there wasn't a lot of food stuff. But, at the same time, you could leave so easily and come back in so easily that it's not even a big deal. Like, I understand people were like, but I don't want to go out for food and then be stuck out there because of the lines, but there weren't, and so I'll, like, I'll give you guys that. There were places to get inside, uh, to get food inside, but at the same time, you didn't need to get food inside. Like, you could just walk in and rock you know, walk back out, walk out to eat, I should say, and then walk back in like it's nothing, right? Uh, so that's not a big deal. Um, other things. So here's where I have a complaint. <laughs> okay, so autographs were not run very smoothly this year, or at least, um, in my case. So here's sort of what happened to me for both of my autograph sessions. I got there early, I sat down somewhere in the line, and two hours later, I was out. And that is not good. So, basically, it seems like what happened this year is they gave an allotted time for autographs. So, from 4.30 to, to 5, let's say, or 4, 4 o'clock to 5.30, right? Those were the, sort of the times. So, we would all sort of get there, we would sit down, all the Platinums would go first for, like, an hour or how long it took, and then you'd get to, like, the weekend passes, and then every time, like, a Platinum came, and obviously they paid for that pass, so that's not my issue, but a lot of us were just sitting there, like, I told you guys, I came early, right, like, it wasn't like I walked in late and I'm complaining because I'm at the back, you know what I mean, like, I got there early to make sure that I would get a good spot in line, and so I would get through quickly, and I was still there for past the allotted time, so the signings were only supposed to go from 4 o'clock to 5.30, I was there until 6, and, like, one day it was, like, till 6.20, uh, which is not good. So, the suggestion that I have, and I'll probably, they're gonna send us feedback emails, so I'm gonna talk about that. Um, what I would suggest is to have an allotted half an hour where only Platinums can get in, if that makes sense. So, again, the example I used, 4, four o'clock to 5.30. 4 o'clock to 4.30, Platinums only. So, just let the Platinums go in for their signings, get them out, and then say, okay guys, if you have a weekend pass, come at 4.30. Just tell people to come a little later so we're not, I guess, sitting around for as long, because to tell people to come, I guess, for 4 o'clock when you know that the Platinums are going to be stuck there for like 40 minutes or like an hour uh, getting all their stuff signed, which obviously they paid for the privilege to get in and out quickly, um, it would just be better in terms of alerting people so you don't have this massive clump of people that are just sort of you know, sitting in there and not moving, like, the line's not moving, um, and so I think functionally that would be a bit better, that would work out a little more, uh, in everybody's favor, because then the Platinums get something exclusive, like, oh, we get our autograph signing 30 minutes early, so maybe they can spend, you know, a little more time talking to us and stuff like that, right, but then the weekends get to come a little later and all the Platinums, in theory, should already be out by then, so it should just be weekend passes, like, coming through, and obviously, you know, some Platinum people come late, it's whatever, right, um, but, I don't know, it was just weird to get there at, like, 3.30, like, be like, alright, I'm getting here early so I get a good spot, and then having to sit for two hours, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> right? Like, if you came later, you would have had to wait for less, even if you were at the back, which is not good, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because theoretically, if you come later, you know, there should be more sort of people in front of you so you're at the back of the line, but the fact that it doesn't matter how early you came or how late you came, you were still stuck for the same amount of time is not not good at all. So, that's what I would suggest. I don't know anything about running conventions. I don't know how you would fix this. That's my only idea that I have, is to have a section time for Platinums to kind of come in so Platinum members know, hey, like, you guys, like, you have this exclusive time where there's sort of no one else around, like, there's you and ten other Platinum badges, right? So you guys can, like, you know, talk more or whatever, however they want to advertise it, and then the weekend passes, okay, you guys come at 4.30 and we can get you all through without, um, I guess, you know, the line slowing down, whatever the case. Yeah, I wasn't too salty about it, but I know a couple people had to miss their autographs, even if they were platinum, just because things were moving, um, things were moving really slow, and, uh, yeah, and so that's, that's, mm hmm that's my only gripe with RTX this year, like, the, again, the exhibit hall was great, uh, the RT store, the process to get in, um, I took someone's 
platinum badge to get in, so I don't know who I should be saying that. But to get in there was great, um, as a weekend and with a platinum. <laughs> um, you know, all of that stuff, it was all good. It was all good, except for the autograph sessions. I think that that can be improved. But here's the thing, right? Everything else was great. So something needs to go wrong somewhere. And for anything that could have gone wrong, this was like the safest to go wrong was the autograph. Cause say security went wrong, you're out in the sun. Say the exhibit hall somehow went wrong, right? Like there's like a bunch of like, there's 60,000 people at this convention. Like if the exhibit hall was di disorganized and shit, that would have been awful. If the RT store, like, you know, if anything had to go wrong, I'm glad for, like, our purpose that it was the autograph sessions. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's just kind of, like, my thought on that. Also, I have a really cool shirt, if you guys didn't see. It's a little big for me, but, like, you know, we'll, we'll grow, we'll grow into it. Maybe. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is my experience with the actual convention. Um, Again, panels were great. I feel like they showed really good stuff at the panels, too, which was also important. Like, it's not just getting into the panel, it's what they showed off at the panel. It was worth it if you went to RTX, in my opinion. Um, again, the exhibit all had some really cool stuff. I spent a lot of money in the Rooster Teeth store. So I didn't really buy anything around, but there was stuff that I wanted, which is good, right? Like, there was, um, yeah, there was stuff from other anime, there were other figures, there was, like, oh, I don't know how to explain this. There, there were, there, like, these llama alpaca things, and they were rainbow colored, and I was like, yes, that's for me. But I didn't buy it because I didn't have any more room or any more money. Um, so, yeah. Also, here's the other thing. So, if you come back into Canada, you're only supposed to bring a certain amount of stuff back with you. Like, value. Not necessarily weight, but value. So you can only bring, like, um, a here, here's an example. For 24 hours, I think it's $200. So if you leave the country for two, for 24 hours, or 48 hours, or whatever, you can come back with $200 with the stuff. It's something like that, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't overspend. I could only bring back as much as they let me <laughs> um but yeah so the exhibit hall again it was great um to like see stuff that i couldn't buy <laughs> but the fact is is that there was stuff you would want in there if you could buy it and so that's good right because you know obviously the exhibitors want to want to make some money also i think the artist alley was really good uh this year in the stuff that they had uh but yeah the autographs are the only things i have a gripe with here's the other thing so I don't want to be, like, a bitch, but usually at other conventions, if you go for an autograph signing, all they will do is sign. You have to either pay extra or get a separate code to take a picture. And so I feel like, in theory, maybe something- and I got pictures too, so I'm guilty. Uh, but maybe something that was holding up the line was probably people, and uh, the Guardians took the picture, so it wasn't like the Guardians were fumbling with their phones or anything, but, er, that people were fumbling with their phones or anything, because obviously the Guardians were taking it, but, you know, for someone to pull out their phone, sit there, like, click, 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 uh, you know, oh, my brightness isn't up, let's try that again, like, whatever was going on, right? You know what I mean? Like, eh, you know what I mean? So, t to use another example, Fan Expo when I went, I had to pay for, for two things. So I had to pay for the autograph and, um, I took a picture with Barbara and Aaron. This is Fan Expo Canada and that cost extra. So it was two separate things. So maybe what they could do is have an autograph code and have a picture code, but I don't know exactly how that would work. Like, maybe that would cause more chaos because then you have like a picture taking line and an autograph signing line um but at the same time those could be at different times so all the autograph people are you know at this day uh while all the picture people are on another day i don't know or maybe it could be something if you have a higher tier badge like if you're a weekend uh a picture is included if you're weekend plus or if you're weekend, a picture is not included. If you're weekend plus or you're VIP or you're platinum, whatever, a picture is included. Maybe that would have helped. I don't know, but I think the half an hour idea, like just telling people to come a little later if they have a different badge, would have been fine. Maybe. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna- I'm not gonna bitch about the autographs anymore. But yeah. That's it. 
that was my uh, sort of experience uh, with everything. Again, everything was good. The food, uh, the food thing was good. I know a lot of people were worried about food insecurity, but I can tell you guys it was great. Um, this was just supposed to be like a contained feedback for the convention video, like, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, I, obviously you guys saw me, I hung out with friends a lot, um, and that really made it for me, but that's not necessarily part of the convention, so if you guys want to sort of, like, have me make another video where I talk about sort of, like, I don't know, like, the experience of, like, seeing the other YouTubers and all that stuff, like, that may be something I do separately, but I wanted to really focus this in on, like, a review of the convention. So, altogether, I'll give this convention, like, an A, or an A-, minus because, like, everything was pretty much A+, plus, and then, like, the autographs, it was, like, like, a B, or maybe, maybe even a C+, plus if we're gonna, we're gonna do that, you know, passable, right? Um, like, obviously, it wasn't ideal, but, like, I got my autograph, so it wasn't horrible, you know what I mean? Uh, so that brings its score down a little bit, but in the end, I had fun, I think it was worth going, I think you guys should totally go if you can. Next year, I'm gonna put out sort of a guide, I think, of, like, hey, if you're going to RTX, you should bring this, you should bring that, you should do this, you know what I mean? So I may do that next year, um, but yeah. I guess this is pretty much the end of all our RTX videos. Now we're going to get back into talking about Ruby and stuff. Uh, so, bye guys. Until next year, I guess. We'll see y'all later. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you guys should consider being patrons over on Patreon. Our $10 patrons get three video tickets, which means they can pick three video topics for us to do a month. Our $5 patrons get early access to basically everything uh, that we put out a week in advance. Early access, in fact. And our $1 patrons get access to our Discord server. They get to participate in polls and all of that sort of fun stuff. So I hope that you guys will consider becoming a patron, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.